Many of us unwittingly make ourselves miserable with our bad habits. As a follow-up to a previous video, here are eight more bad habits that should be avoided in order to live a more fulfilling life. Bad habit number one, refusing to ask for help when needed, whether for medical, emotional, spiritual, relationship, or even practical problems of life. You can't know everything, which is why you must depend on others to help with problems you can't solve. Doctors, therapists, mechanics, electricians, financial advisors, family, friends, and many others are available to help. The truth is, the wise person knows when to lead and when to follow. So if you can't solve a problem, then ask for help. Bad habit number two, neglecting personal relationships, which brings to mind a familiar cliche. No one ever said on their deathbed they wish they'd spent more time at work. Many of us justify making our productive labor our highest priority by telling ourselves it's for our family, which certainly has some truth. However, if you neglect your relationships with your spouse, children, family, and friends, you might one day find yourself alone because relationships have emotional needs. So nurture your important relationships. Bad habit number three, expecting yourself to be perfect, which is self-defeating because no one is perfect. And the more you need to be perfect, the more you'll feel like a failure. So cut yourself some slack and try to be good enough in the things that matter to you. Bad habit number four, thinking you can control others, which some people seem to make a career of, only leads to frustration, feeling like a failure, resentment, and neglecting your own self-care. Realistic persons negotiate relationships with healthy others, which is quite different than thinking you can control others. So stop trying to control other people and learn to negotiate with them. However, you must also recognize that some people, such as active alcoholics, are incapable of negotiation. So all you can do is act unilaterally by setting healthy boundaries. Bad habit number five, ruminating about the past or future. Yes, we should strive to learn from the past and plan for the future. However, becoming stuck and ruminating about the unchangeable past and the uncertain future robs us of life itself, which only exists in the here and now. If you chronically live in such rumination, then you can never fully be present for your family, friends, and life itself. So practice mindfulness, which means keeping the focus on what's right before your very eyes, your loved ones, your well-being and health, and life itself. Bad habit number six, tying your serenity to goals or things you cannot control. People often tell themselves that they can't be happy until they have the right job, perfect house, nicest car, or best partner. It certainly is good to try to improve your situation, but don't tie your happiness to the outcomes. Instead, try to maintain your serenity and appreciation for what you have even while working towards your goals. Bad habit number seven, living defended against life rather than living life. If you grew up in significant dysfunction, chances are you build up strong defense mechanisms. You might avoid taking risk in your career and activities, or you might hide behind a mask that keeps you emotionally isolated from even family and friends. In short, you might be living defended against life rather than living life. The solution lies in understanding that as a child you were powerless to change your environment or protect yourself. But now, as an adult, you have the power to step outside your comfort zone, take risk, and be open to the wonders of love and life. Bad habit number eight, worrying too much about what others think, which can lead to stifling your own individuality and self-care. Being considerate of others is good, but some people turn consideration into compulsive people-pleasing, which is not good. The only thing you owe another, unless you've agreed to give more, such as fidelity in a marriage, is respect. No one has the right to tell you how to live your life. Thus, you have the right to be you, as long as you don't violate the rights of others. So learn to live and let live, as they say in Alcoholics Anonymous, which means focusing on living life in the best way for you, and giving others that same respect. If you'd like help breaking bad habits that are making you miserable, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about me and the online services I provide. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. 
And if you want to hear more from me, then click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. I'll be publishing at least one new video every month. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.